Hi, uh, I'm Terry from Umezushi, and today I'm going to show you how to make the Taiwanese pork rice that's been on our menu for years. It's actually my granddad's recipe. And uh, it's very simple. It's one of those dishes that every household has a version of in Taiwan. Well, um, I call it Taiwanese pork rice because I'm from Taiwan, but pretty much every Chinese family will probably have a version of it. Now, this version we are doing very simple. One, two, three, four, five, six basic ingredients. The key, stannis, that gives that distinct fragrance of the pork rice we do. In here, you have soy sauce, sake, and sugar. That's it. Exact proportion will be listed on the uh, website anyway. Then you have pork belly, very important, it has to be fatty. We are cooking it for a long time and lean meat will just turn into cardboard. So fatty with good distribution of fat between the meat, that is the important part. Here, shallot or onion, we like to use shallot, um, but if you don't have shallot, we, you can mix it with onion, that's no problem. Then we'll go on to combining all these ingredients together. So the steps are quite simple. The key is deep fried shallots or deep fried onions. These you can get them in the supermarket, but don't do that. That completely changed the taste. And this is actually what makes our progress taste different to, to the shop bought ones. So deep fried onion, easy, goes in, oil, hot, and it will be boiling away. Uh, deep frying the onion, shallot, whichever. What we are looking for is like a uh, crisp texture. They are, we stop frying them when it's completely dry, but before it's burned. And that's when the onion or the shallot turns really sweet and it's great garnish. You can see I use a lot of oil because that oil will make a great addition to any dish you want to do. And, and that's what we use. We're going to use this to um, caramelize the pork after. You can see this is almost there. It's turned really golden and you see the skin has popped out like that. And this is really ready to come out. And after you take them out, the color will darken. I've taken out the extra oils and just left enough in there. And we are just going to sear off the pork belly now. It's really hot. And we just want to brown the outside. After searing off the pork, you can see the color is golden outside. It's still uncooked inside, but it's okay. We leave it on the side. Take out the excess oil, you're going to get a lot of it because as you seal off the, the pork belly, they release more oil. You see the brown things underneath? They are flavor and we want to keep them there. Here is all the sauces we mentioned earlier. We can use this to deglaze. So in high heat. Simple. Now, here is a little secret. So here we have some stocks from before, and this would really help to get the flavor. And someone or families that makes a lot of pork rice, they always keep some of this and add it into the new batch every time. So in we go with this. Then, as it's boiling, stand is in. Um, if you have some uh, tea bags, put them in there, but we don't have many of it. I can just pick it up. That's fine. Then, pork in. Then, fried the shallot. Go in there. After all this, we want to put equal amount of water as uh, all the sauces together so we just put double amount of water and we reduce it 
Um, this will take probably about two hours, gentle simmering. And normally what I do is I prepare this last thing in the evening. And I just turn the heat off, leave it in the pot overnight. The next day morning, perfect. And it's just simmering away and um, it will be ready tomorrow.